Hello everybody, welcome to another video. You're probably wondering, why am I stood in a really precarious and very strange area of the house? Well, today, as you see by the title page, it is my collection room video. I'm just going to take you on a little tour, talk you about the toys that I've got, and just li literally have you, let you have a little look of what my room is like at the moment. Just a little FYI before we get in there. It is a little bit chaotic in there, it needs cleaning, it needs sorting out um, and also there's some empty spaces on my bookshelves where my DVDs are as well uh, because I'm currently, I've like grabbed a load of films and got to be watching them at some point um, but I haven't put them back yet so just a little FYI before we get in there, before people start going oh my god, look at the state of it but anyway, <laughs> it's not a big room. Um, I have done one of these before, so let's go into the John's bar. My mum's touched that, by the way. So let's get in there. Oop and sis on me. And let's get looking. That did not have a dramatic open as I wanted. <laughs> oh dear. So... Here we have it then. That is the main collection. Yes, a mind for the, the ponies. Um, I, yeah, I'm a bit of an MLP fan as well. Um, I don't really care if I get start getting a little bit of slack in the comments section for that. But end of the day, it's just a cartoon. It's a Hasbro property, just like Transformers is. Oh, cool. But by the way, that was actually gifted to me. That one up there, and only one of those plushies over there. I actually, no, two of those plushies I actually bought myself. The other one was actually gifted. And most of the shit up here as well. Anyway, so, let's get back on track, shall we? So, so yeah, I've got stuff pretty much everywhere. On every shelf, uh, any kind of flat surface that I can get near. Um, <laughs> that's how desperate it's getting at the moment. I'm looking at getting a few more shelves if I can somehow squeeze a couple more floating shelves in here, which I think I can. Um, so I'm thinking of doing that at some point so that I can kind of properly display my collection. Because each shelf, it's kind of like each one, it's not just one line, there's like more than one line kind of mixed together. And if I had the space, I would love to have. One shelf prime, one shelf, you know, your university chug stuff and things like that, your G1. You know, I would like to have dedicated shelves for each one, but I just don't have the space to do that. So unfortunately, I'll have to butcher things and I have to put everything on separate shelves. So this is bit, this is the bookshelf behind the door. And uh, this is all my anime collection behind the door. As you can see, I have been viewing some anime lately, so that's why there's like big gaps. Um, so I've got some... These are the Gundam Universe figures, by the way. These are the actual... They're not model kits, these. They're actual physically built things. I've got some Lightning Collection Power Ranger figures as well. Uh, I've got some Rick and Morty. got some Bucky O'Hare. Come down again. This was, I think, I think that one, I think that's the uh, Gundam I built that they had at TF Nation a couple of, about a year or so ago. This is again another Gundam Universe figure. This is also a Gundam Universe figure. This is one I built, but as you can see, the the little V thing that's on his head has come off, and I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> this was a model kit. This uh, Gypsy De Gypsy uh, Avenger which was really cool. So I've got a pretty extensive anime collection that goes right behind all these boxes. Um, and as you can see, there is some some stuff there as well, MLP stuff. But yeah, so I do like my anime. I've got my... I've got some stuff that I just can't fit on shelves at the top of here and some boxes. These two I was gifted from the birthday by from by Sam. So he bought me these MLP things and obviously these TMNT figures I got myself. They're up here and there's the 
Darth Vader up there as well. And then there's some books. I've uh, got some comic books, some uh, Transformers stuff right down there as well. There's my Covenant and Primus on the wall there. And uh, I got these, I think it was at TFN 2011 or 2012, when um, the guy who was the art director or the guy who was the character designer or whatever for Animated. So I bought these, um, this Optimus mm -hmm. Prime, and that is me down here. Where am I? There we are. That is supposed to be me. He drew me in the animated universe. It's faded a bit, unfortunately, because of the sun. Here I've got my Beast Wars collection. Um, some stuff has actually fallen down by the back there, so I need to actually sort all this out. But I've um, got Masterpiece. This, this one's one of the most recent, because uh, I managed to get this guy back, uh, which is the original Masterpiece primal release with the the more grey the more grey gorilla fair kind of look then I've got this one which is the uh, it's more based off the original toy which the original toy is literally just next to him right there and it needs a good clean so I apologise for that as well um, I've got the Generations thinks the 30th anniversary rat trap and I've also got the Rhinox which is behind primal um, original Megs, Transmetal Toon Primal, see, so I've got Inferno, I've got Baboom, I've got Depth Charge, I've got these guys as well, which I got from TFN about a year ago. Um, actually, one of those things I got gifted by, um, I think, Dave, I think it was Cal, uh, not Dave, um, yeah, Dave, Smizno Dave. And I've got Rampage behind there as well. Coming up to this one, this is one of my brand new purchases. Uh, so I've got Masterpiece Barricade, Move Barricade, Funko Pop, got Optimal Optimus, which is the original Optimal Optimus. Uh, it's not the original one they had as a kid, I actually had to rebuy it. There's a Unicron there at the back, Power Rangers Megazord. Um, coming up, Armada Megatron, I got that, is it Galaxy Convoy, whatever it is, um, yeah, so, yeah, I know I'm going to get some slack for having the MLP stuff, but I really don't give a crap to be honest with you, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so come across to this shelf, this is like a mixture of Chug, um, and robots in disguise and G1 right up on that top shelf there. So G1 double dealer just there. So yeah, come down to this shelf. I've got some uh, what are they thinking of the column? Voltron. These are the legendary defender designed ones. I've only got Keith and Laura, uh, whatever his name is. I've, I've only got the I've only got the blue and the red lion at the moment. I want to get the rest so I can actually have an actual Voltron um, Alpha Trion. Sorry, this is uh, these two I recently just got as well. Soundwave and Blair. Some more on the back. Come to this one, another new purchase I got off of eBay, Siege Prowl. Uh, we've got Siege Impactor, that's the one part of the two pack that comes with that guy right there. Sorry about putting them a finger in the corner. Um we've got two. We've got Soundwave, G1 Soundwave and Sound Blaster at the back. Uh, these guys, I've forgotten the name of them, which is Jetfire and uh, Scarbite. Some of them are Transformers Prime figures, so I've got the Transformers Collectors Club Chrome Dome done in TF Prime Wheeljack mould. I've got obviously Wheeljack there, Dead End, 
um, Dead Dead End Wild Rider and down there is the um, Dark Energon version of him I've got Arachnid, you and Arachnid a, a more recent figure purchase and up here is an extensive collection that's growing nicely of my Prime stuff Megatron, Optimus uh, I got literally only a couple of days ago and then the rest like Ultra Magnus and Smokescreen and whoever else is behind there um, obviously I've got Depth Charge, uh, whatever, not Depth Charge, um, Dr uh, Dreadwing behind there as well so yeah they're all recent most of that up there uh, but obviously I was gifted uh, Starscream at the back as well and obviously I was gifted Wheeljack as well but yeah my TF Prime collection is getting nice some plushies focus so that's another brand new purchase which is Siege Barricade and then I've got Siege Spinister got some artwork there as well that needs to be framed and put up on the wall so there's some artwork I've got up on the wall at the currently so yep. So down here, obviously there's a G1 Scorpion knock in the corner there as well. Coming down, these are some recent purchases as well. So I've got me free the Predacon. I think I don't know if this was only three figures released, I don't know, but I recently got these guys. Really cool. And then behind the TV, this was a recent purchase as well. This is like a really small Chinese knockoff um Devastator G1 like Dev G1 like Devastator uh assortment that I got off of Wish. Um I can't remember the name of the company, but apparently it's supposed to be like a, a smaller version of a t of another Chinese knockoff toy or of a an original one, I don't know, but it's pretty cool. And then obviously I've got this guy as well. Which is essentially Titans, Titan Returns, Soundwave, but he's got um, he's from the Bumblebee movie toy line that one. So yeah, that's the room. So some posters. I need to sort that one out because it keeps sloping for some reason. So that is pretty much it, really. There's all my collection there. That's currently there, all up to up to date currently, and. Uh, yeah, and there we have it. That um, I'm gonna try and edit this as best as I can because I was shaking for some reason. My arm, my arm was shaking a lot during filming that. And plus, there's something wrong with this camera I'm using because the it's unfocusing a lot more than it ever did before. So I don't know if it's a little glitch with my phone now. But um, but yeah, so this that's my collection room, people. So that's the update collection room, showing you what I've got on the shelves, on bookshelves behind me, and so on. Um, yeah, so hopefully uh, at some point I want to try and get some more shelves so I can really sort out my collection because everything's just grouped together and it's not very nice to look at. I like to have like a uniform shelf, but. This is the space I'm in. It's not big at all. There's only so much space I can I can go by. Um, so, like I'm saying, I'm I'm starting to go on speakers. I'm starting to go on for any flat surface I can. That's like a temporary hold. And then the rest of it's all up on the shelves. You see. So, well, anyway, so that's the collection room video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And uh, so, until next time, stay awesome, stay safe, and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye for now.